Beyond the Badge is brought to you by the Edina Crime Prevention Fund. I saw the job post and it looked like a good opportunity for a second job and a way that might maybe fulfill me a little more than the position I initially was doing when I first moved back here. So I decided to give it a try and it also, it probably didn't hurt uh, that my sister did this uh, paid on call, part time work for a smaller department in southern Minnesota for about 12 years and um, her husband is now the chief down there and has been on for about 15 years. So. I'd seen them do it and it, I would see family gatherings where we'd be at events and the pagers would go off and they'd both just run out the door almost without saying anything. And you know, there's a little bit of an adrenaline rush there too, so it was interesting. I know Minnesota is one of the highest, if not the, the highest state with the most paid on call departments. And so if you think about it, when you, when you take out the St. Paul and the Minneapolis and even Edina, because they are full-time staff and some of these other places, really who you're getting responding to these events is the farmer, the insurance agent, you know, the pilot, the the guy that mows lawns. I mean, you're getting really all these walks of life which can really come together and make really great teamwork. And it's not just teamwork within the one agency, but then you're also working on, especially on major events, you're working with many different agencies. So my dream job would always be not to be a police officer, but to be a civilian working in a law enforcement agency where I assist with processing crime scenes, collection of evidence, helping them investigate something. So I moved out to the West Coast to pursue that field and spent about eight years in California and Oregon working as a crime scene investigator. When I moved back to Minnesota, which is, I'm from this area, I initially did not have a position where I was responding to scenes. And after a few months, I realized I was really missing that part, and I saw the position at Edina open up for a part-time firefighter on-call response, and I thought, what a great way for me to get out and to go uh, try to help people in the community. In the initial two years, there's a lot of training, and it's several nights a week. There's a lot of studying, unpaid studying time. You know, you have to train to be a Firefighter 1 class, there's a haz hazardous materials class, and there's Firefighter 2, and then you're doing an EMT class. And it, it, if you go back with something else, you're also gonna do a driving class to operate the engines and the trucks. There's a lot of time that it takes. It takes away from a family setting. Um, and I think anyone who's doing this job is doing it because they want to do something, want to help, want to do something extra. It took a little while for me to feel like I knew my role when I would go to an event because your role can differ from event to event. Is it a crash? What am I doing on that? Is it a fire? Is it actually a fire or a fire alarm? But we have to clear some general checklist to see why the fire alarm went off. So what is my role and, and being able to help instead of be a hindrance, even if it's basic, if I know, know how to do it instead of having to be told what to do, that's helpful. In my mind, I guess I was picturing maybe that you're responding and you're immediately helping on every call as a part-timer. And a lot of times when we're coming here, what we're really doing is helping uh, clean up at the end uh, get the truck ready as soon as possible to go out on the next call and also if other additional calls come in while we're here we will be right and ready to go help with that so it just it's it's just because the pager's going off doesn't mean you're you're going to going to battle but you still arrive and prepare as such getting out being active being part of a team 
Um, not really even having a lot of details when you go to something and it's an evolving event is, it's, it's interesting. It, everything is different, every scene is different. When there wasn't an active event that I needed to do to help the person, I, I would just try to start a conversation with them, talk with them. I, can, I know one uh, spoke German, so I spoke a little German to her, very little that I know. And I think it just distracted them enough from what was going on and it allowed the medic to do the, the onboarding paperwork so that the hospital would have the information they needed as soon as the patient got there. And just tried to, you know, some, some of these drives were not going uh, code. So it's a long drive to the hospital that they may need to go to. And it can be probably the longest 20 minutes for them that they're experiencing if they're in discomfort and stressed. So just talking to people, I really just enjoy actually riding the ambulance, talking to people that weren't in an, an extreme state of needing, you know, all of this. There wasn't a lot of excitement go going on in the, in the moment and being able to just talk with them and make their day go a little better. Beyond the Badge is brought to you by the Edina Crime Prevention Fund.